that. So he flexing on us on this group. And you know, this, this is one of the things that I always warn people against. If your dreadlocks originally didn't have this kind of uh, lineup originally, don't try to go for that. Don't try to comb your hair out and different things like that because it will skinny out your dreadlocks. It will thin out your dreadlocks in the front. What I warn people is that if you continue to brush down your front hair and try to line it up, it will thin out the front of your locks. And that's what kind of happened to me. Uh, the more I kept on brushing it, the more I, I took out the front. But later on, I was able to regain that momentum, regrow out the hair, and put it back to the dreadlocks. But it looks like this is how he started originally, and that's why you can see uh, each dreadlock from the front. You can see the front versus the one in the back. It's the same section of length. So he's already kind of like avoided that. But from here, you just gotta be careful not to allow your barber to bring down some of the ones that is already there. So just be careful as you go and continue on your journey not to do that. Shout out to you, Morgan. I really love this. I like the pictures that you take like this too. This 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 one, th these type of pictures are the pictures that you're gonna look back and really admire uh, the moments that you have shorter dreadlocks uh, because then you'd be like, dang, I remember that time that I had you know this length or something like that. So keep taking pictures, my brother. I love the pictures that you got going on. And if you guys end up liking this journey, I think he has a YouTube channel. Uh, go check that out. And uh, we got a video right here. Uh, what we're not gonna do is we're not gonna listen to these songs, but we're gonna watch the video.